So here we are inside Tinkercad and you can see that on my surface I have what's called a work plane. So this is the surface where you will um, design your 3D printable objects. If you push and hold the control button on your keyboard, you can then swing around and see many different views on your work plane. This is very important as you will be designing in 3D and it's really important to look at your object from all the different sides. If you ever want to navigate back to your original view, you can click the little house button on the side and it'll bring you back to your front view. You can also use this square here and click on the different sides to view the different sides of your object, top, bottom, and then again, house to return back to center. So on your side menu here, you've got a whole bunch of objects. So if I just take a box, I'm gonna drag and drop it onto my work plane. And again, now I can swivel around and I can see that I've got a three dimensional cube. There are many little icons on the side. So if I want to make my box bigger, I can grab and drag my box to make it taller like this. Okay, these ones down here will allow me to stretch it out side to side. Okay, in terms of color, you do have the option to change the color, but the color doesn't really matter because the object is going to print in whatever kind of filament you have. So for the purposes of instruction in your class, if you wanna let the students play around with color, feel free. However, um, the object will only print in whatever color plastic filament you have in your classroom or in your library. So as the students are working, they can continue dragging objects on top. I can drag the cylinder here. And if I wanna put that cylinder on top, I can grab a hold of this little arrow and I can lift it up and drag it up there. And you can see now there's a little shadow on my work plane showing that this object is floating. Um, the other option that I have if I wanna make sure that there's a perfectly flush surface is to click on work plane over here. And I can click on top here. And this now gives me a secondary artificial work plane. So I can now drag this object. Say I wanna get rid of it. Oops, let's get rid of this guy. But now if I drag a cylinder over and I put it on top, then it will be flush to the surface of my square because it now thinks that the top of this cube is my new work plane. To get rid of the orange, I'm gonna click work plane again and tap the orange and it disappears. And now you can see that I've got this cylinder perfectly stacked on top of my yellow block.